Hey everybody, welcome back. I wanted to start out this week by answering a couple common questions I get. Um, one is, is the build going faster or slower than you thought? Um, for me, this is kind of, I think, uh, about what I thought it would be. Um, as far as where I feel like I'm to, I, I put things in trimesters. I feel like we're in the first trimester. When we get the motor mounted, I feel like that's uh, graduating into the second trimester. And when we get the essentially the motor moving, kind of take a first first drive, that's uh, passing the second trimester. So still in first trimester, hopefully soon be in the second trimester. Um, yeah. This week we're gonna go ahead and start uh, with cutting tubes and getting the frame mounted to the motor mounts. So let's get to it. All right, I'm underneath the car right now. Um, when I was putting in the uh, rear, <clears throat> The rear tubes, when I was uh, fitting them up, I I was hitting them in with a hammer to essentially get them to go in a little bit further, to kind of telescope in. And by doing that, it moved the whole frame of the car just a little bit that way. So I got some good measurements, but I'm gonna have to bring, um, essentially, I'll bring the whole motor that way a little bit. But uh, I'll just show you here real quick. So that's the mark, maybe quarter of an inch, eighth of an inch, something like that is what needs to move. An update here on the rear of the car. So I was getting ready to kind of, uh, anyways, figure out mounting for this. I did some measurements again for the space here for the battery pack, the rear battery pack. And the module, again, I was planning to do them back to back and this is essentially the width of that plus the cooling plate um, that I've got designed. And I don't know if you can see, but it's just like, that's not gonna fit. So I either have to have it really high, and in that case, I don't know that I've got enough height, um, but it's just like, just right on the edge of being too tight. Um, so I think what that means is instead of having eight batteries eight battery modules here in the back. I'll end up doing four. So instead of like four and four with the cooling plate in the middle, we'll just do four with the cooling plate on the back. And that way I can also drop them lower all the way to the bottom. And then my next place, so I've got options. I could do essentially module here and module here. Um, I like that except for It'll, it'll just be very difficult access wise. So the, the wheel hub or the wheel well kind of comes here and you'd have to kind of take off the wheel well. You'd probably also have to take off the tire and I don't know, that's probably not the worst thing in the world. Um, the other spot though is, it's kind of hard to see with, with all this here and you can't see uh, where the seats and stuff go. The seats kind of go right about where this bar is. So the seats will go in front of there. So back behind here, uh, I was gonna do two here and two here, essentially behind the passenger and driver seats. So let me take you over to the shell so you can see. So here's the shell. Again, the, the seats kind of are here and there's just this spot behind them where, I don't know, I'm, I'm because I don't have a manual, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, ask the maker if, if anything is happening back here, if this is somehow bolted, secured, part of the structure, I don't know. Otherwise, I'll just kind of carve out a little bit just so I can have enough room to put the battery modules in. Um, and then I can kind of just make an access panel here that I can take off and get access to them. So until I hear otherwise, that's the new plan. So I'll still uh, look things over, but this is kind of my thought. Uh, so I'd put two battery modules there, two there. The other four um, will kind of just live again low and to the side and that's that's my thought there all right i'm getting set up to go and mount the rear coilovers so on these basically i've got uh this will be on the top 
and I got a custom one to go on the bottom. It'll fit in here and also be a good fit for the Tesla bolt there. So I'm just pounding them in. Once I've got them pounded in, I'll show you this other one that's close. So again, I've got uh, that one's kind of all ready to go. And then the top here is like so. And the, I just, I just need to lift up this whole arm here to kind of, you can see I kind of marked the position, but uh, that's kind of where it will be welded. And yeah, that'll be a good milestone. All right, here it is all welded. The one thing we forgot to do is after we tacked it, um, we left this in place. So continue to weld and it just kind of, just singed a little bit of the rubber. So yeah, we'll see what we can do there. All right, so this is the uh, kind of singed rubber. It's do it actually doesn't look too bad at all. So um, I think we'll probably just keep it. Okay, here's the other side. Looks pretty good. I borrowed a tube notcher, so we'll see how this goes. All right, this is my first attempt. Um, it's going okay. I could definitely use a uh, updated or upgraded drill. Um, but, so I made it about this far, so we're almost there. It is like bottomed out. Um, so I'm just wondering what I didn't do quite right. Okay, two things about this tube notcher. One, uh, I figured out that this, there's a bolt back here so this whole thing can drop down. So that was the first issue. Um, so I was limited by up here, couldn't go any further down. Um, well, now that I've moved it further down, it can cut to about here, but then it's done. So meaning that the top of the tube's actually hitting here, so it can't go any lower. So, yeah. All right, so what I ended up doing is I got that guy, chopped the top half off then continue to cut through the bottom. So I was eventually able to get it. Um, yeah, maybe I'm not using it right, but not as great as I was hoping. The other thing is it's a little offset. I don't know if you can see it, but like, so the left side is higher than the right side. So I saw in some reviews, basically they just put some washers um, to kind of help space this out a little bit. So I'll probably do that for the next one, but uh, I'll go ahead and clean this up and cut it to length and get it mounted on the car. All right, I got the, uh, I got it all cleaned up and the side as well. So they're both kind of I'll clean up with some alcohol and uh, clean up the frame where it's going to weld and then go ahead and weld it. All right, with the spacers or with the uh, washers there. It gives a little more even cut. Um, again, it didn't cut all the way through, kind of only cut halfway through. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong, but um, you can kind of get about 
I don't know, three quarters of the way through and then it starts hitting the top. So, I don't know if there's another way to do it. But, got this one, so I'll go clean this one up and get them, this one and the other one down there, get them ready for welding. All right, this is the uh, top motor mount. Um, and basically what I'm gonna do, well, first I, I cleaned off the bottom steel there. I don't know, can you see that? So anyways, clean off that steel there. Um, you saw I cleaned off this, both ends there. So this one will go, essentially, oh, I'm gonna weld it. Put this spot where I'm gonna weld it. So it's gonna be welded down there and up there. Okay, uh, the first or the forward motor mount is uh, got that welded up. We'll go take a look at the other side. And there's the other side. So I don't know if anybody saw it, but on the time lapse, I was able to light a paper towel on fire. So that was fun. Okay, uh, cleaned up some of the welds, and yeah, so looking pretty good. So here's a look at the back. Um, I'm gonna do essentially one more member from there to the outside of that pad. Same thing on the other side. And then we'll, the back will kind of be done for the motor. I'm still gonna add a support uh, that comes off there and there and add on kind of a rear bumper or rear crash bar and then on the front So I'm gonna get one more member from there bring it up to here 
may also triangulate kind of out to here or something. But that's that's where we're to. All right, that does it for this week. Um, wasn't able to quite get as far as I'd like. The uh, essentially cutting all that tubing um, and having it be like spot on just took a lot longer than I was anticipating. So I'll say we've got the motor half mounted. So next week we'll get it fully mounted. We'll take uh, all the supports off and that'll be a major milestone. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next week.